What's going on guys? Yo video peas here and here is episode 8 of Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer. So last time we did a battle, got another shadow Pokemon, and we got the Sharpedo actually, I'm pretty sure. Do I have it on my team? Yeah, it's chilling right there. Um we got him and then we advanced the story a bit by figuring out what was going on at the Coliseum and then battled this little shit here and then found out a gear got stolen that caused the power to be gone and now we are going to get that gear back because I uh, remembered where um, you need to go you actually have to go to this construction lot um, I'm not sure if like if there's anyone that tells you you have to go here but if you do go here and go up to the right here you'll see this glowing little gear so click on it and we get the gear that's for the windmill voila and now we could go back and return it to its rightful spot so yeah um how are you all doing this lovely day I am doing all right uh, it was my day off today um probably gonna do this and then actually get a little bit more homework done last episode I recorded earlier today and I did a little bit of homework, but like there's so much homework. And the thing is with me when it comes to schoolwork, I'm such a procrastinator and I hate it. But I need to make sure to get it done. But let us return to this little shit right here. And whoa, what do we got? Terribly sorry, Chief. You're sure you're sure you're okay? Uh yep, I'm fine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But Silva, this is an outrage. No, no. I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it were it right. He can't blame the man for that. Enough about that, Duking. Instead, I think you should look over there. What? You people? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I reckon you might be saying thanks, Duking. The, that's the gear. You found it for us? What amazing luck. I'll ask, I'll ask you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be... People who are worthy of trust. Yeah, damn right. All right. You have my sincere thanks. All right, I'll get you to slot that gear snugly back into that in that gap where it belongs. Okay. So let's put it back in. There we go. So yeah, what do you guys been up to? Um, oh, all done. Standing by. Let it roll. Oh, 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh, yeah. You got it. But, um, how are you guys enjoying, um, what's it called? How are you guys enjoying Breath of the Wild? I haven't really, like, fully played through a Zelda game. That's that's also something you guys may not know about me. I, like, haven't beaten a Zelda game. Hold on one sec. Wahaha. This is the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. All right, cool. I can tell that you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favor to ask. Will you hear me, hear me out? Why not? I'm grateful. I want you to enter the next Coliseum battle. I need you to win the knockout challenge and find out what is going on there. I can tell from a glance that you're no ordinary trainer. The fuck's that supposed to mean, huh? I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. You know what? Why not? But, um, so yeah, let's go up here to the Coliseum. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying it, that game. It is... It is a pretty fun game, I must say. Uh, yeah, even though I haven't really beaten one yet, I am I am enjoying it. So, yeah, that's some. Anyways, let's talk to this chick. Thank you for your patience. The power has been turned back on. I'll be happy to accept registrations for the next challenge. Hello, welcome to the Pyrite Coliseum. Would you like to join a knockout challenge? Surely. Okay, will you be entering with the Pokemon that you have in your party now? Yep. I hope you give it your best and aim for victory. Alright, let's do it up. This is our first Coliseum challenge. I believe there are like different Coliseums throughout the game. So, Pyrite Coliseum Battle 1. So this is probably what's going to be taking up most of the episode. So, yeah. What, what are you doing? Why did you have your arm like that? Hawks. It's not going to be easy. To, oh, okay, I fucked up. <laughs> I was a little too slow on that. But we we're fighting the first battle. We got a Parasect and a Spoink. Alrighty. And what do we got? Oh, we have our Butterfree and our Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn is almost fully purified. Well, 
I keep saying almost fully purified, but that's like not the right term. Ooh, oh yeah, he has flame wheel. Let's use that on Parasect and uh, Thunder Punch on Spoink. Right, hopefully that flame wheel is enough to one hit KO it. We'll see. Ooh, he used Trick, but yeah, you can only use Trick if you have items, you idiot. Oh god, he actually knows Pedal Dance, but he used it on Butterfree. Good shit. Why Why am I doubting that the the enemies will make the right choices? I actually didn't do that much. Snap. Alright. Um, let's use Vine Whip on Spoiling, see how much that does compared to Thunder Punch. Okay, and I did less. Gotcha. Good to know. I hate how long it times it takes for the Pokemon to, like, go back and, like... Yeah. I don't know. Well, you're gonna keep using Petal Dance on Butterfree like an idiot. Okay. Alright, so Parasect got confused. I'm gonna see if he will ki kill himself with Confusion. Confusion. And then let's just get rid of this, uh, Spoink. Well, possibly get rid of the Spoink. Shadow Rush should take it out. If the Parasect hits itself and kill himself, I am a god. I right, keep using Trick and doing nothing. Good shit. Alright, he... Oh, wait. Please don't hit Rhyhorn. Fuck. I should... Ah, my god. I want to KO. Because four times weakness, I know. But shit. <laughs> really should have took that into consideration. Oh, well. Alright, so let's just send out Sharpedo. Get him out there. You know, he wouldn't skill swap as a second move. Interesting. Uh, actually, let's get rid let's get rid of this parasect. Actually, just to make sure he doesn't. Okay, get into hyper mode. Shit. Please don't kill Sharpedo. I'm begging you. Uh, and Spoink use outrage. Oh, interesting. Did a decent amount actually. Kill yourself. Yeah. Good shit. Good shift me an idiot. And but a free good to 30. Very nice. And I'm gonna call him out of hyper mode just so he could lower we could lower the heart gauge. Nice. And then Butterfree will take it out with a thunder punch. Dope. I wonder how many I think it is it four battles? I'm not fully sure. And do they heal your Pokemon after each battle? That I don't know either. Dun dun. Ah, right, cool. You're still you've still got a long, long way to go in Pyrite. Okay. Surely. All right, second battle. Let's go. As Mario would say. I'm gonna probably gonna be doing like a Mario playthrough on this channel soon, but I don't know of what. Let me know what you'd like to see. Tissler, you're planning to win it all? You know that's impossible. <sniffs> Bitch. Get out of here with that. Alright. Alright, so we got Shuppet and a Metapod. Easy, easy, easy opponents for this uh, battle. Alright, so they heal a Pokemon. That is, that is helpful. Um, okay. It's flame Wheel, Metapod, and Thunder Punch Shuppet. Oh my god, that almost won a KO'd and it wasn't even a crit! That's crazy! Egg Bomb, yikes. Even though it's not gonna do that much. That looks funny though. <laughs> Alright, so Rhyhorn's Heart Gauge is almost all the way down. Okay, so at least that's at least I could take them both out next turn. Nice. I guess it just did a lot because Shuppet's defenses are pretty weak, so that's always helpful. Okay, so next battle, I'm most likely going to switch out Rhyhorn to Sharpedo, so we could try to get his heart gauge down some more. Is every, is every trainer going to only have two Pokemon? I doubt like the last ones will, but it makes sense that the first ones are easier. Also, question of the I just used a fire move, so question of the day is what is your favorite fire type Pokemon? I did water type last time, I think. 
Oh, wow, I fucking did it earlier today and I don't remember. But, yeah, what is your favorite fire type Pokemon? Mine? Ugh. Oh, wow, you're not half bad. Yeah, yeah, you know, right? You know that, right? Alright. Um, what is my favorite fire type? Possibly Houndoom? Um, yeah, either Houndoom or like. Infernape, or something like that. I don't know. One of those two. You're trying to score an awesome. Okay. I'm bad at reading text. You guys should know that by now. Ooh, the, I like how the music is like different for each opponent. And oh my goodness, a fucking Groudon. Lord. I fucking may switch both these guys out. I may switch Rhyhorn with Sharpedo and then. Yeah, I may just. Holy shit. Oh no, he has that so my water moves are weaker. Fuck. Um. Hmm. I can use. F no, I'm just gonna Shadow Rust that shit. Yeah, I might as well just keep these two in and try to get rid of this Groudon ASAP. Because if it knows like a strong move, I do not want him to like sweep through poke. I don't know. Oh god, he used Flash. Right, I'm gonna switch someone out because accuracy is already gonna be low. Does it, does it do it on both of them? I don't think so. Okay. That's weird that like even though it flashes would seem what would seem like it would be the whole arena or whatever. It only flashes one of the Pokemon. It's interesting. Whirlwind. Okay, you're gonna switch. Please switch my switch my Butterfree to Ponyta and I will love you. Yo, call on it right now. Switch it to Ponyta. Okay, Vigoroth came out. Whatever. Alright. Let's Shadow Rush him and why not just fucking double shadow rush it? What did he just use? Oh my god, you jerk. Wow, that didn't even kill us. So the one that was used the last episode killed it fine, but the one by Groudon did not. Oh wait, because of the sun, the water moves are weaker. Gotcha. Okay, I'm probably gonna switch out to Rhyhorn this turn. Um, okay. Let's see how much this does. Hmm, okay. So I'm I'm gonna switch both these guys out, Bob. Oh my god, I almost killed it. <laughs> uh I'm gonna switch out Rhyhorn. Well not items. Just switch out Rhyhorn for Ponyta. And then switch out Vigoroth for Sharpedo. Nice. What an unlikely combination. Giant ass legendary Groudon and then a fucking Grimer. Like. Jeez. Yo, some of his music in this game is actually good as fuck. Alright, good shit missing. Whirlwind again? Are you kidding me? You... Alright, switch out Sharpedo. Whatever. If you switch in Butterfree, I'll kill. How did I know? <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna just Aura Beam Groudon and then Vine Whip it. I'm just gonna keep these guys in because he's probably gonna Whirlwind again, honestly. Okay, so Vine Whip will hopefully eliminate this little shit. Camouflage. Oh my god. Transform to a Rock type. Alright, Vine Whip is still gonna be super effective, so nice try. Alright, nice. Oh man. Boom. Oh shit, he's got another Pokemon. He's got a Tyranitar too, shit. Oh now a Sandstorm comes out. So it went from burning hot to a fucking Sandstorm, shit. Okay. Let's see. Ponyta speed fell. Um. I don't care if we're buffed by the Sandstorm. I'm probably just gonna keep these two in. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, crab. I guess hit two. I'm gonna crab hammer because the sun isn't out anymore. I'm gonna crab hammer you, and then might as well vine with you. See how much we could do with that. Okay, that didn't do shit. <laughs> Good goddamn. Alright, confused rape. Confused pony talk. Something. 
I, I meant to say Butterfree, because I was going to switch Butterfree out. But fuck you <laughs> for listening to me. Alright. I mean, that did half its health. I'm still going to switch up. Uh, actually, should I, honestly? I don't even know. I know this is going to take up like 20 seconds. I should be able to like skip like the animation of them getting hurt or whatever. Um, fuck it. Let's just let's just. I believe I just started right there a bunch. I believe. All right, good. He missed. Come on. Yeah, good shit. And I fucking missed, of course. <laughs> just when I thought I was I was in the clear, I was sadly mistaken. Okay, everyone getting hurt again. Let's see. Come on. I believe in you this time. This will definitely take out Tyrant Horn. Come on. Come on. Good shit. Alright, let's go. You see that? It was weird that Pony Todd just like teleported back. Like he did the animation with the attack and then went back into neutral position before cutting to the Tyranitar. That was interesting. All right, Shadow Punch, not gonna kill. Hmm. Now we got wait. Oh my god. Um. Pony Todd's about to fucking die. Let me just let me just crab hammer you and thunder punch you. See what happens. Crab hammer may be able to take him out. Please, please, please. Oh, damn it! Oh god, I couldn't. I couldn't go three for three with uh, getting past confusion, couldn't I? All right. We're almost done. Okie dokie. Jesus Christ! Come on! Alright. But yeah. I hope you guys are all doing okay. I am doing well. I have work tomorrow, so that's never fun. I mean, making money is fun, so I can't complain about that. But, nonetheless, there we go. We are done with the third battle. Okie dokie. Alright, Vilk. Whoa, hey, maybe you do have what it takes to handle that awesome Pokemon. I wonder if we'll be seeing what that awesome Pokemon is this episode. Oh, here we go, the final battle. Let's do this. Wow, the, I would not be in this type of crowd just standing on a rusty awning or whatever. Fuck that. But we got this buff ass dude, Merez. If you could beat me, Master Mirror B could come calling. Oh, don't even give me enough time to read the text. I didn't hit A. It just was like, fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty. We got a Sheninja. Fuck, do I, have a, do I have a Pokemon that I could kill it right now? Alright, Sheninja and Wigglytuff. Um. Or any of the oh wait he, yes right one has a uh, flame wheel perfect get rid of that Sheninja. and then thunder punch really tough try to paralyze it come on give me paralyze nope in prison that doesn't do shit to me sand attack alright that's fine I mean it's not fine but I'll deal with it and one hit KO boys because if you did not know, Shininja only has 1 HP. But it can only be hurt by super effective moves. So back in the day, it was decent competitive play with Focus Sash. Because if your opponent didn't have a move that 
there were t sometimes teams that didn't have a move that like was super effective on, Sh on Shininja, so they could just, I mean, not necessarily just win, because then the Shininja could possibly struggle out. But it was sometimes annoying as fuck to deal with. Okay, I am switching Rhyhorn now to Sharpedo. Um, and I'll just thunder, I'm gonna thunder punch his artillery with uh, Butterfree. I have a feeling this guy is gonna have a Shadow Pokemon, so we will see. Watch, he's like, prepare for my shadow Pokemon. It's like some fucking stage one random little shit. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't even realize we got him paralyzed. Good shit. Unless he like, just got paralyzed and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, you got Earthquake too. Okay. Oh my god. Sharpedo, no. If this was a Nuzlocke, I probably would have like, lost like 10 times already, honestly. <laughs> Alright, right, do that damage. Um, I guess Vigoroth. Let's see. Shadow Rush you, Thunder Punch you. Okay, entering Hyper Mode. Very interesting. Alright, so we're gonna see what the Shadow Pokemon is. If it does have I'm I'm sure he has a Shadow Pokemon. Like they wouldn't be talking about it in on if he didn't. Alright, Golbat. Is this I'm guessing this is the Shadow Pokemon? No? Maybe I guess there is maybe they just give you a Shadow Like I said guys, the past I don't hundred percent remember the story. So yeah. Um let me just Shadow Rush you, Thunder Punch you. Take advantage of the critical hits. So yeah, maybe I, you get one at the end. We'll see. Oh, come on. Oh, come Don't do this. Don't, don't waste my time. Waste his time, 2017, right here. Um, hmm. It's gonna shadow rush you and switch out Butterfree for Ponyta. Cause I'm not trying to deal with hitting myself with confusion three times in a row. But get rid of this guy, girl, whatever. Boom. <laughs> wow, she like bounces That's funny. Alright, so I'm going to call uh, Vigoroth to get rid of some of the heart gauge because we may be killing this. Uh, we may be killing this Golbat now. Actually, probably not. He's three levels higher than my Ponyta, so I doubt it. <laughs> he like almost fell back. That's funny. Yeah, I had a feeling. Conversion. Okay, you transform to a fighting type. Does not matter. Ooh, okay. Vigoroth knows learned body slam. That is actually a really good move for him. Maybe I won't mind having a Slay King. That is good that is good because not only is it a strong move, but it has uh, same type attack bonus. So yeah. It's just the Tront ability is gonna be annoying to deal with. Alright, your hyper mode again. So we can lower it even more. Is it just like random when hyper mode becomes active? Honestly. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny because Vigoroth is so hyper. Then the next evolution, he's just a little lazy shit laying in the ground. Alright, and Golbat is down, and we are done. Beta? Yeah. Alright, Merez. You're some kind of strong. Good things could be in store for you. Well, you're too kind. Alright. So, we did it. Not that difficult. Congratulations, you are the champion. You battled fabulously. Please accept your cash prize of 4,848 bucks. Damn. And, as a victory prize, please accept this TM06. Which is for... We'll be looking... I guess we don't know. We'll be looking forward to your next entry. Alrighty, um, I have a feeling a cutscene is going to become, what, what TM is that? Toxic. Okay. That's cool. So, 
I have a feeling a cutscene is going to come up next, so get behind me, you little... Anyway. Um, I, I don't know why I always like to position my guy facing forward. That's just a weird thing for me. But I'm going to end things off right here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.